Walking into a building is not as easy as it used to be. In many cases, people are asking you about masks, temperature, and identification. Is there an easier way to do all that? Consumer Bob has the story. Are you willing to turn over your security to a machine? Today, artificial intelligence, or AI, is being used to monitor our behavior during this pandemic. Let me show you one example. Your hands full. I know, I do. If you walk on campus or enter a building at the University of San Diego, you need to smile for the camera. Please end clocks for taking temperature. Normal temperature. Today, a device called GoSafe, developed by San Diego based OneScreen, is taking the temperature of students at USD. Uh, I go through here and I get my temperature checked and they give me a wristband. Like, I think this is very efficient, so I think it could work really well. And it's like, not time consuming, it's pretty quick and easy. Devices like this are replacing the need for real people to monitor the temperature of students. So the idea of somebody, a random stranger coming up to you with a, a, with a temperature gun, putting it this close to your head, again, that's not a good practice of social distancing. Kevin Wong with One Screen says while these devices at USD only check student temperatures, they are capable of much more. Those cameras are actually going to read your face in general, but then it also has an option to be able to read whether or not you have a mask on or mask off. It also has some facial recognition capabilities, too, for entries, for doorways, and things of that nature. A second in front of a scanner, and it can see if you're wearing a mask, even identify who you are. That's what's possible with this virtual receptionist technology. Uh, been a huge demand. The company says in just a few months, they've sold more than 5,000 GoSafe devices across the country. But at USD, where temperature is the only reading, there are some challenges. I've noticed that a few of my friends that are shorter than me, they have to like struggle to like be on their tippy toes. But other than that, it works pretty well. Now, if you've been out in the hot sun or running, you might get rejected for having a high temperature. In that case, you simply cool down and try again. At the end of the day, I think everybody wants to be safe during COVID-19. Kevin Wong says devices like this could grow in popularity even after the lockdown rules are gone. And as people feel more comfortable allowing technology to measure their behavior. Like, I'm like super used to it by now. I think it's a really cool device, you know? Wong says facial recognition software can work even when people are wearing a mask, and software can hold up to 30,000 facial images. For NBC7 Responds, I'm Consumer Bob. Back to you. The scanner is also being used at Qualcomm. The company created the Snapdragon chip that is being used in the device. Today, Alex